knockdown twos left and right to Ledger Walker completely taking over. McGoldrick has dominated. We've seen Papuke Robati the last uh, several games. You could argue that she's been maybe even the MVP the last two games. That's the type of talent that they boast. Pontejos, though, she don't care nothing of it. Swish delicious. That was tastier than Halo Halo. McGoldrick, oh, got to the spot, but she sold it at the rim. Pontejos, oh, she's feeling good. She crossed her like some shoestrings. Watch the ankles. Oh, watch those passes. Pontejos got the steal, but she gave it right back. McGoldrick to Hippo Light. Hippo Light, free throw line. Not that time. That ball is going to go out of bounds. And I believe that Blue touched it last. Yep. So Lauren Hippolyte will get it going. Crystal Ledger Walker over to McGoldrick. McGoldrick, uh-uh. She got it packed. Oh, Hippolyte, she, yeah. Yep. She had traveling plans. She didn't make the officials aware. They hit her with the violation, and New Zealand will have to defend. We're seeing another game where the underdog has jumped out to an early lead, like we saw Thailand and Japan. Philippines with a 3-0 lead. Castillo misfires. Sean Papuke Robati will take over from the left wing. Oh, she's all by herself. And she doesn't get anything that time. She got the D up with Castro on the attack going downhill. The battle of the bigs. Sean won that one. As Hippolyte will clear it. She'll swing it across court. Ledger Walker alone. The stroke wasn't stroking. And she missed the shorty as well. Castillo now gets to the center of the paint. And Castillo, she's got to make those. While the Philippines do have a 3 0 lead, I, I think that their margin for error against a team like the Tall Ferns is slim. They got to take advantage of every opportunity they're given. 3-1. We'll see. Ledger Walker pursuing Castillo. Castillo, what a dish. Five-star, if you ask me. 4-1. Ledger Walker. She's still trying to find that stroke. She'll get it back. That one off the front iron is the, oh, they had it. It's gone now. Stolen underneath and scored. Four to two, Philippines. Huh. That's my, that's my, this my, I like, uh, I like the last day of play. I get hyped for the quarterfinals. Hey, in case you're, you're just joining us, Number one, where have you been? I demand an answer. You didn't answer your phone. You didn't answer your text. All right. Where have you been? Welcome. This is the final day of action here in Singapore at the sixth edition of the Asia Cup. A gold medal is at stake today. And the winner in each category, men and women's, will get a ticket to the Olympic qualifier tournament. Oh, man. She faked her like a catfish account. That ain't you. 4-3. <laughs> oh, nice fake from Monteos, but she had the fake, but no mate. Sean Kapuke Robati. That is out of bounds. New Zealand a little bit out of sync. But as I was mentioning, the uh, stakes are very high today because Singapore is on the road to the Paris Olympics. Bernardino with a slight hezzy. She's fouled on the way up. She's going she's gonna to get a trip to the line. As we're almost three minutes in. I know they, they hype in the Philippines right now. Bernardino, count it. One possession lead for the Gilas. Here come the tall ferns. Sean Papuke Robati almost got her cookie confiscated. She keeps it alive. But Goldrick, uh-uh, comes up well abbreviated. Oh, Castillo, she's got the step. Oh, and a little extra sauce on that. Sean 
Sharn powers it up. McGoldrick playing the passing lanes well. Down to Puke Robati. She's gonna miss that one. We got a TV timeout. Time for everybody to get a little bit of a breather. So Janine Plantejos coming into this game with eight points leading the way. You see her getting all up in her bag. Getting the flow to the fall. Ledger Walker with an early score. But it is the Gilas who are enjoying the early advantage. Two points. Give us a follow if you would. At FIBA3X3 at FIBA3X3W, use the hashtag 3X3Asia. We're checking the comments. I might even give you a shout out on the broadcast, but you gotta, you gotta make sure you ask for one. Tag me, at 3X3 The Voice. Pantejos, she couldn't tag that one. Oh, 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 McGoldrick lost the handle on it. Ledger Walker will step back and a flash. Little kiss off the window. Bernardino. Okay, warning. Oh, that's actually on blue for a delay of game. Ledger Walker is all up in Bernardino's personal space. She can't even breathe. You suffocate me. Oh, she got some space that time. Gave her a little taste on the baseline, but now Ledger Walker will try to answer back. She misses everything there. Sharn, uh, this is the first game that I've seen New Zealand a uh, little out of sync, honestly. They have been a force to this point, and a little bit more on their heels. As that one is slapped by Pantejos late in the shot clock. Again, New Zealand beating Tahiti, beating India, beating Sri Lanka, beating Hong Kong, all in the qualifying draw. They came to the main draw unbeaten. They added two more wins in the main draw, one against Mongolia, the other against Malaysia. Wins going away. These were double-digit wins. And Sean Pupuke Rabati says, get your weight up. That was strength versus strength, seven to six, the Philippines. They hold on to the slimmest of advantages. We got a foul down low. But the tall ferns are average, have an average margin of victory of 11 points. To be trailing here by one is shocking. Ledger Walker. Oh, not that time. Sean Kabuke Robati with position. It's Ledger Walker all alone. Now she's got a double date. 8-7. New Zealand is in front. Took him a while. 4.30 to play as Sean is going to pick up a four foul on the Tall Ferns. Your love's for real. Ah. Castillo, no. Oh, McGoldrick had it puffed away. Okay, Robati, she's on the move like the lease is up. Bernadino. What a shot attempt. There's a grab on somebody. Yep, that was that was called on New Zealand. One more foul to give. If you're the Tall Ferns, they got five, but they also have a two-point lead now as they've done a good job keeping their composure. It's really... 
the first real test. It's the first real test that we've seen. The Filipino fans, they are loud and proud up in here. Shout out to you if you're watching uh, the action on Sky New Zealand. We appreciate you. We know y'all watching on YouTube. I'm not sure what uh, what they be watching in the Philippines. That one turned over. Oh, what a setup! Uh, Kike Robati does not make that one though. Bernardino with a nice move. Just changed up the pace slightly at the rim. And we'll shoot a free throw as New Zealand will pick up a sixth foul. So now it's the Gilas who are in need of a turnaround here with 3.36 to go. Oh, free throws and no go. Oh, hot Tejos. Nice crossover, no jumper though. The gold ring gives it over to Ledger Walker. Ooh, that's my switch. That's my switch. Killer Crystal has New Zealand up by four. So the Tall Ferns have consistently been one of the top contenders in the Asia Cup. They won it all together in 2018. However, the last two editions, 2019 and 2022, it's been kind of tough on them. They have failed to, to return to the semifinals both times. They got a chance to do it this year with a three-point lead with three minutes to go. Can they hold off a very committed Gila squad? There's a hack underneath called on Castro. Only foul number three on the Philippines with this of the shooting variety, and that will put Elsra McGoldrick on the line. The six foot two, 23 year old. She's opened some eyes and some local competitions out there in New Zealand. And oh, but these girls ain't loyal. No, they ain't. Halfway down to spit out. Oh no, missed it underneath the rim. And that one also off target. Pantejos goes down to get it. Bernardino from the left wing to Pantejos. Pantejos with a quick step. And that is a seventh foul on the tall ferns. McGoldrick could not stay in front of the much quicker Pantejos. Two free throws for the Gila Star Pantejos. And she knocks them both in. We got ourselves a one point game, ladies and gents. Oh, Sean Kabuke Robati. Too much body underneath. Pantejos. Just off the mark. Ledger Walker. Ledger Walker runs into some trouble. He rolls up. A tough shot. Comes away with nothing. Bernardino trying to put some pressure on Ledger Walker. Took it to the crib, but doesn't knock it down. Now Ledger Walker is going to pass up a two attempt. Get it to hit for light. She's a shooter. Although she fires a blank that time. So. Just a shade over two minutes remaining in this game. Two point advantage for the Tall Ferns. Ledger Walker, good vision. She sees Hippolyte, but she doesn't see that one go through the hoop. 
Ledger Walker in and out, makes the move on Castillo. No choice but the foul, that's number four. So the Philippines who have played good defense have avoided putting themselves in jeopardy of being in the penalty so they can, they can afford to give a foul like that when they're beat. They still trail it by two. 146 and counting. Ledger Walker is denied by Castro, but Castro's pass is deflected. It's back in the tall Burns possession. McGoldrick, free throw line. That's easy money. Bottoms, 13-10. Bernardino, up there. Nobody. Oh, my goodness. It was inspected and rejected. What a block by McGoldrick. That's what six foot two will do for you. Thirteen to ten game. Take a look at Ledger Walker knocking down a two piece. Just a few possessions to go, and then Sean Papuke Robati getting it by it. What you getting it by it? Using that body underneath. Clearing space and getting the score. Just with New Zealand trailing early, you just you had to ask the question: Could they handle the jandal? So far, they've shown that they can. Count that too. Sean Papuke Robati continue to assert herself. Four-point lead, and the cookie is back in the tall ferns possession. McGoldrick had position. She's going to get out of the paint. She's going to clear space for Hippo Light to attack. She's going to skip it to the counter. Two-ball corner pocket. All cloth. 16-10. Bernardino to Ponteos. Ponteos shimmy to the baseline. One-legged fade. No. And the Gilas are fading down by six after a great start. Zealand start to flex their muscle. Pantejos, got to do something here. A lot of fakes. Pantejos right on line, but comes up short. And with only 15 seconds to go, it looks like the Philippines are, well, not doesn't look like, they are most certainly going to be eliminated here in the quarterfinals. As Kapuke Robati puts the finishing touch on another win for New Zealand, travels call. And while the final score may say 17 to 10, I'm not sure that it's exa exactly indicative of how this game went. You know, it, you look at the box score, you say, oh, a blowout. Yeah, they won by seven, but this was a competitive game. That's not gonna count, but a nice warm-up shot for the semifinals, hit the light. Keep the stroke going. 17-10 quarterfinal win for New Zealand over the Gilas. Shout out to the Philippines though. They hung in there.